The second chapter looks at how do you develop and implement an operation strategy. When we're looking at strategy within a company, in an organisation, there are three things that we need to think about. The first one is why. Why does the organisation exist? What is it trying to do? Who, does it, well, who is it there for? What value does it add to society and its customers? So why is the first question. The second question is how. How are you going to achieve those goals? How are you going to do what you want to do? And thirdly, what? When you get into the nitty gritty, what are you actually going to do? So we have three main questions for strategy, why, how, and what? And it starts off with the why. We need to work out the why first, and then the other things flow from that. Now, operations can play a huge role within an organisation in terms of helping it develop and implement a strategy. The first thing it can do is help it to understand its customers. Um, we talk about customer voice a lot in organisations, but there's also customer behaviour. So customers say what they want, but often the way that they behave, what they actually want, is different. Now, operations is very important for looking at customer behaviour. It sees how customers behave and it can help the organisation understand what their needs actually are. So understanding customers is a very important role. The second thing is to think about how do you attract and retain customers. So how do you appeal to the voice and the behaviour? Uh, operations can help you attract them by developing particular capabilities that they find attractive so that they want to come and work with your organisation and they want to give it money. But in particular, operations role is about retaining. So the experiences that customers have once they interact with an organisation are defined by its operations. Thirdly, operations plays a key role in looking at an organisation's capabilities. Developing capabilities to match what customers want, their needs today, is very important, but also strategically thinking about what they might want, but they don't realise they want. Now, operations has the ability to develop those capabilities that the customer might need, and then start to influence their behaviours and start to open up new markets and change the way that organisations, customers, and even society operates and thinks.